In this video, we'll look at the basics of using USG sealing techniques to start designing. We'll explore how to place anchor components, when to use place on face or place on work plane, how to customize finishes, profiles, and offsets, and how USG sealing techniques can automatically trim around walls, columns, lights, HVAC, diffusers, and mechanical grills. In order to design a ceiling with USG sealing techniques, the families need to be hosted on something. This could be a ceiling, wall, the underside of a structure, or a work plane. In this example, we'll attach it to the ceiling. Afterwards, we'll demonstrate placing it on a work plane. For this example, our lobby space has several columns and light fixtures. We're going to show you how USG ceiling techniques can work around those automatically. To start, select your product family here. We're going to design with baffles and slats from our bars family line. In this panel, you can customize your ceiling, making changes to baffle type, finish, acoustical properties, required perforations, or any changes you need to make to the offset. You can also leave these to the default settings. To make space for pipes and mechanicals, we'll put our offset at two feet. Next, we'll draw the boundary lines using the Draw Boundary Lines option in the plugin. Similar to how you create all your other ceilings in Revit, you'll need to refer to the plan view. This is going to be a large rectangular ceiling. It's also going to have a circular cutout. Once you're done with your boundary lines, hit the green checkbox. We now have the shape of our ceiling. Now we're going to place the anchor component. Because we have a ceiling to attach the cassettes to, we can select Place on Face. Then we'll place our first cassette, which will determine the orientation of the baffle pattern. In this case, we're rotating it by pressing the spacebar. Next, hit Escape twice to place the cassette. Then, Generate Ceiling. When making a custom design, you may receive a notice letting you know that field modifications will be required. If you plan on trimming the cassettes, they'll need to be cut at a 90 degree angle. There will be more information in our installation guide linked here. The USG Ceiling Technics plugin automatically generates the rest of the ceiling, avoiding our lights, columns, and the circular cutout. If you don't have a ceiling, wall, or underside of a structure in your project, you can still design with USG Ceiling Technics, you just need to use the work plane function. Using a similar project, we're going to show you how to create a design with baffles attached to a work plane. We're going to use bars again with a different finish. Because we're attaching it to a work plane, we'll set the offset to zero. We'll set our boundary lines. Then hit the green check mark. For this example, select Place on Work Plane. You'll get options to pick a work plane. In this case, we already have many added. We'll opt to place one on a slope plane, listed here as Angle, which corresponds to the sloped reference plane in this window. If you need to create a work plane, you'll need to add reference planes to your project. Next, align your cassette. We recommend you place your anchor component based on where you want the seams to fall. If your fill area is a full module at eight feet width, then start in the corner. If it is less than that full width, then enter Place at the Midpoint. In this example, we're placing it in the corner to minimize seams. Then rotate the cassette by the desired amount. In this case, 20 degrees. You can rotate by typing RO and then 20 for 20 degrees. Click Generate Ceiling. Note that due to the complexity of calculations and cutouts, angle designs may take a bit longer to process. And we're done. As you can see, it's filled in our boundary with angled cassettes, and that's how you create a basic design with USG ceiling techniques.